hey guys welcome back for another video but first let's start this video off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god i humbly come before you today to thank you forgive me for my foolish ways when at times i am selfish and ask you for everything but thank you for nothing i am so grateful that your presence is with me you are more than gold the greatest gift i could receive thank you for loving me unconditionally even when i don't deserve it Thank you for your loyalty and everlasting mercy. I surrender myself fully to you. I know that if I have you, I have all that I need. God, and thank you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So I pray that that prayer blesses you guys today. Today is Friday, and I decided to open up the camera today. I didn't know how I was going to feel or anything like that. I am still on the struggle bus. So if you've been here, you know that I recently just had surgery bariatric surgery to be more specific and I am in recovery mode y'all I have actually not been doing anything I've been laying around get up to walk lay around again get up to walk so my stomach is now recovering because y'all know I had a um, allergic reaction to the glue they use for surgery so my stomach is kind of bruised and tender and does not want to be touched so Lately, I'm either in a muumuu, like a nightgown, or I'm in like um, big baggy clothes. Right now, I'm wearing men's sweatpants. So I'm wearing the large, large shirt, right? Let me see if I can back up. And I'm wearing the uh, men's sweatpants, which these feel pretty good. They don't squeeze my stomach. It feels pretty good because everything else squeezes my stomach. Y'all know I love to wear my leggings. I have not been able to wear my leggings in over a week. I missed them. I almost tried putting one on yesterday. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, I can see how this is about to go. Sure enough, I um, basically clothes bother me. Once I put clothes on, 10 minutes later, I'm taking it off. But with this, even though it's not the gl most glorious thing, I'm comfortable and it's not squeezing my stomach. My stomach is still kind of swollen and stuff, so. But, any, but I am recovering well so far. It is drying out and stuff. It's just, I wish it was a faster pace so I could move on with my life. Okay. <laughs> I'm not used to this, y'all. I'm used to doing a bunch of stuff in a day. And in a way when I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I'm not used to not doing anything. And that's the hard part for me. And when I think like, okay, let's get up. Let's go. Let's put ourselves together, which I do every day. 10 minutes later, I take my clothes off and take a nap. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> all I can do is laugh, y'all, because I'm not a napper at all. And I do that two, three times a day, sometimes more. Um, I could get up, walk around, whatever, and that would wear me out, like just make me super tired. And I have to take a nap or just lay there and just scroll on my phone or something, you know. Especially when I see my mom busy. When I see my mom busy, it's like, I want to get up and help. But I can't, so. There's that, you guys. But I miss y'all. I miss filming. I miss editing. I miss doing all the things. How have you guys been doing? I hope y'all are doing well. I'm doing okay. Um, life does not stop. The month of February will be the one of those most um, busiest months for me. Devin's birthday is February 5th. He's about to turn 15 years old, you guys. 15. Can you believe that? So I think he he wants some friends over and he wants a dinner with a cake. Devin loves everything chocolate. So this time I convinced him to get a yellow cake with uh, chocolate frosting because normally he likes chocolate on chocolate. So uh, and he asked for a steak and onion dinner. So a nice sear steak, like thin steak with some onions, mashed potatoes, maybe even some asparagus or something. We'll come up with a menu and hopefully I can let, um, I can help my mother. I won't be able to partake maybe on, maybe the mashed potatoes. I'll be able to eat some of that. Cause hopefully by the time you guys watch this video, I have a doctor's appointment and hopefully the doctor put me on puree. If he puts me on puree, I could, I think, eat some mashed potatoes. That would be awesome. But I'm doing well, you guys. Uh, what do you think? I look good. I feel like my um, skin is pretty clear. Or was it always this clear? I am drinking a lot of liquids. All right, y'all. So I've been using the hospital cup 
to fill up and then work my way down with the liquids. I've been, I can't drink water by itself. Hold on y'all, let me adjust you guys. I'm out of practice here. I can't drink water by itself. So I just had like either crystallite or something in there. But I've been adding some liquid IV. This is the main one I bought. It was on sale at Costco. But my friend, I didn't know they had this. It was the sugar-free liquid hydration. And then I ordered another one from Amazon. This one is supposed to be great for labor. It's also sugar-free. So I'm going to add this to the water. And then I use this little plastic cup. It's nine ounces. I know that when I finish one of those, uh, it's nine ounces of water. So uh, I'll be using the Baritastic app. And that's how I keep track of what I'm eating. Well, not really eating technically. What I'm eating and drinking and stuff like that, like the Biotastic app and how much protein I take in. This morning I had, let me use a scissor. This morning I had a Premier Protein Shake for breakfast. It took me almost four hours to finish. There's some days I could finish it in two, but today I don't know why it took so long. Well, I was between sleep. I would wake up, drink some, wake up, drink some. I didn't sleep so well last night. I haven't been sleeping well in over a week now, y'all. Maybe because I take so many naps, I don't know. Let me stir that up. I try to stay hydrated. I'm not trying to go back to the emergency room no time soon. The lady at the emergency room, she says she sees a lot of um, bariatric patients, but not because of the surgery itself. Well, yeah, no. They're either dehydrated or constipated, so. I ain't trying to wanna, I'm trying my best not to be anyway. So I'm gonna throw this in the trash, clean up after myself. Oh yeah. But yeah, this, uh, I tried the straw. You know, you're not supposed to say, you're not supposed to drink with a straw after surgery because it gives you gas, but I'm so used to drinking with a straw, so I did try it. It did give me a little extra gas, but I think it because the straw for this thing is so huge. But I do pop this open and just use the cup. And I know that when I fill it up, it's nine ounces. So that's how I try to keep up with my liquids. And then I'm just going to put this back in the fridge. But I'm doing okay. So this is my setup right here in the daytime after I'm done walking around doing what I'm doing. I got my little heating pad. One of y'all sent me this blanket. Thank y'all so much. It's been, I love it. <laughs> and I just sit here, catch up on some shows and um, relax. Hey guys, it's two days later. Um, yes, I am wearing the same clothes because right after I finished talking to you guys, I took my clothes off, put my nightgown back on and then that was it. <laughs> I was feeling really so tired. That little bit I did wore me out, y'all. But today is Sunday and it's a whole new day. John and the kids are at church. So they're at church and I'm just mom and me here at home. And um, I'm doing well though. Today is a pretty good. I'm slightly tired, but I'm going to push through. I'm doing better with water. I was not able to tolerate water, but now I can. Crazy how that changes. I'm like, I could not tolerate it, but then I tried. You know what made the big difference for me? They tell you not to drink out of a straw. And... <laughs> I've been sipping. It made a huge difference. Drinking out of a straw, I was able to get my water intake in and actually do pretty well, because even before surgery, I drank a lot of water. And here I was struggling, I couldn't deal with, um, so I was adding, adding IV, IV hydration, drinking Gatorade Zero and all this extra stuff with zero stuff in it. But I prefer to just drink plain water, I just could not tolerate it. But now, since I could tolerate water, this makes a huge difference for me. Now they tell you not to drink out of a straw. It depends, because some people say different stuff. Now my surgeon said don't drink out of a straw. So I ain't gonna tell them. Um, and y'all don't either. But yeah, it's just me and mom here. Mom said to let you guys know that she said hi, but she does not want to get on camera. She's in her robe and her hair is not done, so. But yeah, guys, so today I have to redo Destiny's hair before surgery. I, um, 
I did her hair really pretty, but I'm just gonna redo it instead of washing it because one, she's getting sick, and two, I cannot wash anyone's hair, not even my own right now. So yeah, but progress. I'm drinking more water. Y'all, it's the little things. This makes me so happy. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we just got back from a walk. Devin was my walking partner. It was actually my first time walking outside. I didn't go too far, but I went back and forth a few times. It was my first time actually walking outside since I had surgery because all the walking I've been doing was in the house. It's been gloomy, it's been cold, it's been rainy. I don't like winter. Until my, my belly button incision started to hurt. So then I'm like, okay, we're ready to go back in the house. But Devin enjoyed it, right Devin? Yes, he wants to go walking with me again later. That's when we have the best talks. But I'm excited. I was able to leave the house and get some fresh air. It felt so good. Even though it's kind of cold outside, and the wind is blowing like crazy. Luckily, John found my wreath because my front door wreath, it was, um, it had fell off the door. So, uh, and that's a pretty wreath. I got that one from Target. So I would have been devastated had it been lost, but it was a good walk. Hopefully I can do it again later. Mom right now is prepping the kids breakfast for, I would say for the next few days. Do you think a few days he'll last? Because the boys go through breakfast like really fast, mom. So like the next few days, yeah, so she did a bunch of scr how many eggs did you scramble, Mom? Eighteen. Ah, eighteen eggs. And now last two days. Eighteen eggs? I don't know. I think maybe three days. Okay, I hope so. She did she made them some cheese cheesy eggs. And then she also made them some potato hash, I think. So it's when you dice the potatoes really small and then you add water. What did you ask? The onions, it smells so good in the house. I can't eat it. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Uh huh. Onion. Hey. Paprika. Paprika. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne, cayenne pepper is so spicy. It's spicy. Ooh. Not too spicy. Just a touch. That's what mom says. Just a touch. She always says just a touch, and then you taste, and it's super spicy. But I'm gonna show you guys the eggs. Oh, that's nice. Let's show you guys. You see that? Ooh. Sorry, y'all. I kind of got uh, for me, but the poorest of eggs are in there and it's cooking. Now imagine me smelling all this good stuff and um, I can't have any of it, but that's okay. I'm about to go on purees real soon. You enjoy it for me, right. You, oh, you enjoy it for me? Thank you, mother. Thanks a lot. It's not choice. <laughs> I'm wearing a stomach binder, you guys. I look like a ninja right now. I cannot wear my best clothes. My stomach does not want to be touched by the fabric. And then this, like this fabric, it, it doesn't mind. So I've been tucking my pants, hold on. Now I'm tucking my shirt in my pants so the pants don't, don't touch my skin because it hurts. So I'm walking around looking ridiculous, but that's the only thing I can wear right now because um, everything just hurts, you know? I wanted to make the kids some chocolate chip cookies today, but then mom made them rice pudding yesterday. Plus, I feel like I'm being a little too ambitious. I'm not ready to bake yet, but I do miss baking so much. That's one of my favorite things to do, and I haven't done it since Christmas. Was it Christmas, mom? I think it was Christmas or Christmas Eve. It was Christmas. Yeah, it was Christmas Eve. So that was the last time I baked cookies, and I haven't done that in so long. I'm sure the kids miss it, right? Thank you for mm -hmm. something. Chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate, but they, they've been spoiled. My small small group, you guys were asking me what small group. Small group is like your church family within your church family. So there's the, you know, you go and attend church and then there's your, your people, like your Bible study group. And we belong to two family ones. So every Sunday we go to one or the other. So it starts this coming up weekend. The John and the kids will be attending. I'm not, not for the next month. So for the next month, it's like I'm in uh hibernation and I'm just sticking to myself and then afterwards I'll be attending with them so right now the doctor told me I can't be out there like that like crazy because my immunity is kind of low so there's that but it starts soon and y'all they spoiled us right and every single day they were dropping food off so the small group is like your your church family so anything you got going on they're the ones that can, will come through for you medicine food Every single day they dropped something off to the point the fridge was packed with dinners. 
kids were eating it for breakfast. They were taking it for lunch. It was a lot of food. Mom was pretty shocked because she's never seen nothing like that before. She has not had to cook in so long. So she'll make things here and there if she wants something different, but she hasn't had to cook. So it was pretty cool, right, Ma? Yeah. And that's over now. So, and then y'all know I serve in the nursery and then my nursery people, like our group of women, because mainly women that serve in the nursery, is all women, what I mean mainly, it's all women. They came through for me as well. One of them dropped pizza off and the other ones put some money together and they're like, here, you can use it for your either dinners or for groceries. I'm like, thank y'all. So y'all, my church family came through for me. And then when John and the kids went to church today, everyone was asking about me. They miss me so much. You know what? It, it feels good to be missed. It means, you know, at least people care. You hear what I'm saying? Charlie, I know it's Sunday and John just got back. There's this place here called, what's it called, John? Chinese Fish Market. Johnny's Fish Market. And they sell Chinese rice and fried fish and all kinds of fish there. And then they got fries. This is how they're doing. This is how much they love me eating it like this. We sure do, baby. We got to make sure we're taking care of it. Okay. <laughs> Mom made the eggs. I think the um, potatoes are still in the oven. Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Y'all, let me shout out to John. Let me tell you something. He has been taking such good care of me. He really has been doing a good job. I mean, I knew he would anyway, and so has mom. But she's my mom. I already knew. No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, John and I have been married for such a long time. John and I have been married for such a long time that, you know, I already knew, but you know, let me go over here. So basically, when I was in that hospital, John took some good, such good care of me, even here at home. Cause we, it was just John and I, we were by ourselves. And when I tell you he took such good care of me, not that I'm shocked or anything, cause I really shouldn't be. But it's real love when he, I mean, we were walking the halls at the hospital at two, three o'clock in the morning ourselves and it was so quiet in the hospital it was just me and John walking I had to use the bathroom he would take me to the bathroom I had a little accident he was wiping me like that's real love y'all I know that's real love and I feel, I feel it right here <laughs> all right their potatoes are done this smells so so good Day and I am in my office y'all I like hanging out hanging out in my office but I have not been able to really hardly make it up here so I'll probably spend some good amount of time up here anyway but hold on, let me delete that I did not sleep that great last night I um I wake up itching I have like this allergic reaction not just the one that happened on my stomach but over my body my arms my legs my feet and it's like white dots not white dots red dots everywhere so I wake up itching all night and I can't hardly sleep. So I don't get hardly no rest anyway. And I've been suffering for days. So like my whole body just kind of went, just kind of got mad at me and just, I had a whole uh, allergic reaction flare up. I just don't know what exactly caused it. It is getting better, but because I couldn't sleep last night, I, um, I was doing research and I did a Walmart order because I've been doing a lot of orders in the middle of the night because I can't sleep. So I did a re, uh, order and I ordered the Aveeno Sensitive Skin, I think it is. Let me see. I did the order last night. I just took a shower with that and I really liked it because I've been using the Sensitive um, Dove Soap because I'm not, the doctor told me not to use anything that's too strong. So because my, you know, my skin was just... So this is what I, I ordered, and this is what I took a shower with. I'll see that. And then I ordered a Gold Bond lotion, and this brought it upstairs so you guys, ouch. So you guys can see it. Um, this one says more, it's medicated, and I, I smell like Bengay, but I don't even care, because when I tell you, this is the best my skin has ever, not ever felt, but like felt in the past month, uh, it's a huge difference. So. It's seven moisturizers plus three vitamins, extra strength, body lotion, anti-age, menthol, 0.5%, triple action. This is the lotion I just used. And when I tell y'all, it's not a strong smell of 
Bengay. It's not. It's like a menthol smell and it's very light. But it says for extra dry and itchy skin. And this is the best it has felt. Because I am like, I try not to scratch as much as I can. But sometimes I can't help it. And sometimes I catch myself in the middle of the night scratching. Not on purpose. Hold on, y'all. Because I be adjusting myself all day. God, if y'all could see my pants, just so it could be comfortable, I gotta put it all the way up here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, um, I have, I use that, and y'all, my skin feels so good. I feel like, you know how something's on fire, you feel like you wanna crawl out of your skin, and there's something that's very cooling, because I feel very cool right now, that's kind of soothing. I'm like, oh, thank you. So, if you suffer from itchy skin and stuff, Try that lotion, y'all. And then in the last video, uh, you guys have um, recommended the Fairlife Protein. And John got me too. He got me the vanilla to try and he also got me the chocolate. So this morning I started on the vanilla. And so far I like it. It's definitely different from the protein, Premier Protein, because I feel like the Premier Protein has a thicker consistency. This one's more like a thinner milky consistency i would have to say um i feel like it tastes just like sweet milk the vanilla one i don't know about the chocolate i'm saving the chocolate for tomorrow morning because i have a doctor's appointment um and so far i like it i did start at eight in the morning and it's 11 10 and i'm still working on it i have this much left i can't hardly drink like i used to and i've been trying to also get some water in huge difference by Drinking from a straw is a huge difference for me, y'all. But I like it so far. Um, if I drink too much, I get nauseous, I did notice. But that's with anything because, you know, your body's letting me know that that's a little too much. So, um, I like it, but I didn't hardly sleep last night, you guys. So I'm kind of tired. <laughs> but that, um, so I'm about to actually get on um, called and order Devin's birthday cake. Um, where's doing like a little cooking we're cooking his favorite meal on saturday he has to let us know if he's inviting friends or not we'll see depends how what well he's depends on what he says is how many how much food we will buy and stuff so he Devin likes good food he likes steak and onions mashed potatoes and stuff like that i'm gonna call for his birthday cake Devin likes spider-man not not just any spider-man like the kitty stuff but he likes Miles Morales Spider-Man, which by the way, if you've seen that movie or the comics, it looks just like Devin. Um, let me see if I can pull it up and you guys see if you agree with me or not. And he's like half Puerto Rican, half, no, he's half Dominican and half black. So what a coincidence, so is Devin. <laughs> but the movie, yeah, this is, this is Miles Morales. So this is a Spider-Man Devin likes. He likes Spider-Man in general, but he uh, he he likes specifically this one because it looks just like him. And then this is Devin, y'all. I feel like they look alike. So he really likes Spider-Man. So that's what I'm gonna order and uh, order his cake. That's what I'll do. But I don't have anything else going on you guys are probably gonna be resting most of the day my mom does not feel too well it's and destiny has been having a cold not cold like a light cold i could tell her body's trying to get sick and the same thing is happening to my mom so she's laying down trying to get some rest so that's what we got going on you guys i hope y'all enjoy this vlog i try to put something out there for you guys i've been getting so many messages on instagram <laughs> i'm trying y'all i'm trying but i am feeling better I am feeling much better. Every day I wake up, I feel better. So that's progress. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye, y'all.